How do you write killer resumes that really stand out? Well, here's 10 top tips to help you do that. And just before we start, go to our website, www.onlinepclearning.com. You can download free resumes and matching cover letters, action and power words that you can use in your resumes, and a 10-point checklist to check before you send your resume. Well, let's get started. Be realistic. Many people are applying for jobs. If 500 people apply for this job, that's probably over 2,000 pages of information your employer needs to read through. How are you going to get your resume to stand out from all the others? Tip number two, focus on the key words. In the role description or job description and the criteria that you're given, you're going to find key words. That's what your employer is looking for. Take a walk in his shoes and focus on the words that he is looking for. Tip number three, change your resume to suit. Now here's a vehicle that you can see on the screen. If you were selling this to an older person, a grandparent, you'd be selling it on its safety features, how you could put the grandkids in and take them here and there, and it would be safe. If you were selling it to a young person, you'd be telling them how big the motor is, how fast it can go, how you can take it off on four-wheel driving excursions and have a great time in it. But yet it's the same vehicle. Now you need to do the same with our resume. We need to change and adapt it to suit the key words that we identified earlier. We need to sell ourselves. People don't always buy the best product. People buy the best advertised product. And so experts say that if our resume is to be noticed, we need to sell ourselves. Now we're given about 15 to 20 seconds for our resume to be looked at. That's about the industry average. It's not going to be read, so focus on the first two sentences and sell yourself in those first two sentences. Connect your key strengths to the criteria or to the key words, and you'll need to list down your key strengths. You can go to the website and there's a list of questions there to help you identify what your key strengths are. You need to create a map or a connection between your key strengths and the key words in the criteria. You need to have this plan. Use action and power words in those first two sentences. Action and power words will actually get the attention of the person reading the resume. Keep your formatting simple. Make sure there's plenty of white space, that the margins are wide, that it looks professionally formatted. Apply the KISS principle. Keep it simple so that when the employer or prospective employer looks at your resume, it will be easy on his eye to read. The next point, be accurate, brief and clear. Long resumes are not going to get read. You need to be succinct, clear. Develop a checklist before sending your resume. Here's one that I've put together. You can create one yourself or adapt this if you like. Be current and be clear or succinct. The don'ts for resumes are don't send your life history, don't send every certificate that you own, and don't leave out any of the requested material from your resume. There's the 10 top tips. If you go along to the website, there's a comprehensive article. You'll be able to download templates, cover letters, action and power words, and a checklist, and heaps more. This is Trev. Thanks for listening.